<laughs> Hello, um, welcome to Lena, my name, Luna the Moon, Lena Luna's channel. Uh, welcome back to the asymmetrical moons. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are reading for Euro. Yura, Yura, you. I'm really sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but yeah, we're reading for them. <laughs> and just a disclaimer, but before the reading, as always, um, I'm not a professional reader. I'm doing this as a hobby. Um, please take what resonates and what and leave what doesn't. Um, I will be reading from one tarot card and one oracle card and you should have watched the first video to know the flow of things so I won't go further into that but let's begin with the reading <laughs> okay so let's see what the tarot card say Oh my god, it's a major arcana. Uh, okay, um, so something I would like to say before um, I go into this card specifically is that while I was uh, shuffling the tarot cards, it was like a big mess and then like a couple cards fell off like fell, fell down and then like there was two like one card that really stuck to me like it was just like hey stop it might be relevant is that there was one card that was really red i think it was something of coins something of, like coins like pentacles you know and so it's it might i think since this is about a love reading it might be relevant in terms of that like if you're of life might be quite messy next year and then you might have a couple what we call lan tofa in cantonese uh it means like some bad basically like bad romance <laughs> that i'm so sorry um i like some people might be might get close to you for Roman, uh, for romance, for romance, no, some people might get close to you in romance while it was like, uh, like, like while being in disguise of, um, things of, of their, fuck, does this make sense? Like some people might come close to you for things like romance, but actually, it might be for materialistic things like status, um, your body, um, money, appearances, things like that. And then there's also things like, like this, this person and the card is so pretty. Maybe they're getting close to you because you're pretty and they want to look good with you and things like that it's like all these possibilities but it may or may not be relevant because it was just how i was shuffling but i felt like i am obligated to say that and it might um be relevant so yeah take it or leave it um so yeah let's talk about the justice card the justice card um let's take a look at this in terms of the colors so yeah it's like very very aesthetically pleasing this card it's like nothing to um like you know uh like oh my god that looks like it hurts or like that looks really painful or sad or anything it's kind of like neutral so i won't say that like you might not be in uh, you might not be her that bad. Like maybe even though those messy romance maybe 
a factor of your life of course you'll be sad i'm not saying that you won't be sad but like they might just be like those uh what are those called again like um karmic partners i think is that is that what those are called like those people are for you to learn a lesson and so just learn from it get back up and you will meet your person that you're supposed to meet i truly believe that um like in terms of life and meeting people it's like everything happens for a reason and um it's for you to build you up to who you are today and who you will be in the future so just like learn from it let it go well like not let it let it go because like uh learn from it embrace it absorb it and like just be stronger and move forward that's what i will say and i feel like you are a really strong person that will be able to do that because of your like this person look at them they're just like very calm and composed like their posture is so like really nice and then it's like um they are the fucking queen like just like you have the power you have like literally you have the power you have this really big sword that looks super threatening but you're not holding it in a way that's threatening to people like you have the power but you are not planning to harm anyone with that you are a kind soul but some people may take advantage of you and you may be blinded from their intentions or blinded by love i don't know because of this blindfold so maybe there's that um and but uh wait wait so that i have another thing to say that came into mind but like uh so yeah just be careful of who approaches you but i guess you don't have to be too wary because like as i said people learn from each other but just like just be cautious is what i would say and also don't be too worried because i mean this this sun looking thing this like very oh holy things like that like it makes me feel like um there are guardian angels looking after you like the universe is looking over you so like uh don't worry too much about things you are very much in the power um but don't let people blind you too much and yeah that's what i will say from like the visual aspect of this have i said that you should do this like listen to this like a podcast i haven't but you should do that i'm really sorry for saying that too late anyways um let's go get into the divinatory meaning of this card it's the justice card so it's right it's also like the just because the justice justice card is a major arcana card so then it does mean that it will uh be quite like life-changing so i would say that although these may not be the most pleasant things that you may experience as i said you can learn from it and that can yeah bring you to who you are like in the future yeah so onto the divinatory meaning One of the first troubling lessons the young fool learns is that life isn't always fair. Or more precisely, he learns that justice is more complex than he thought. Justice, as meted out by any human agency, is imperfect. Karmic or universal justice also plays a role in life and is harder to detect. The fool's experience teaches him that while secular justice, or more more likely, those who serve her may be capricious a higher level of a higher level of justice operates in the world this version of justice means that the fool's own actions carry consequences and help his future he realizes that he must mind not only what he does but also what he why he does it intent matters sorry that was something in between matters and matters matters The divinatory meaning is that people are getting what they deserve. Although the situation may not be based on ideal justice, there is some of internal 
internal justice systems at play system at play those who behaved admirably will probably be pe pleased fuck i can't speak today i'm so sorry those who behaved admirably will probably be pleased with their results those who haven't lived up to their own standards values and professed beliefs may not be so pleased the advice is if you behaved well according to your own reckoning stick to your guns and trust that justice will be served if you haven't don't try to argue accept your lot with as much grace as possible and resolve to make better choices next time yeah there's that and let's get into the oracle card conclusions are within reach now i i i really don't know how to read, read this quote but i would just say that this look kind of eerie but at the same time the moon behind that is like really like unique so i feel like it's like that vibe where you might have to get through all these pain all these scary stuff before you can like get to the mysterious uh, myst well it is mysterious well like before you can really get to the core of the beauty of things the actual truth of things the like your authentic self that's yeah okay let's get to the definition full moon in eclipse full moon, full moon eclipse i don't know where i may possibly find these um i'm sorry give me like five seconds two three four five no i am oh it's special moon card I am sorry. <laughs> that took a while. Full moon eclipse, and just like that, a door slams shut. If you've pulled this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about is about to reach a peak, or has just done so, and things are now out of your hands. What are, what you're expecting now is what your soul signed up for, a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. Look, I said that. <laughs> So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time, as hard as it may be. Forgiving someone for what they have done could be a key to resolving this issue. I mean, this situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases it so you can move on. The tune to the moon is that that which is meant for me will not pass by me additional meaning for this card is that door which slams shut now will not reopen it's time for you to get back on track forgiveness forgiveness will set you free of karma meditation pranayama and yoga nidra are all recommended now seek control and let events unfold the teaching of this card is that full moons are nearly always about climaxes and very often about conclusions. Full moon eclipses are the same, but on steroids. A full moon eclipse can be hard to handle because it portends change, something many of us are uncomfortable with. But change is a part of life and this card, no matter when you pull it, reminds you of the fact. Full moon eclipse can also give us a glimpse into what Carl Jung called the shadow self work with your darkness yeah i think that's a very good conclusion i think they make sense together i hope it does for you too um once again please just take keep what resonates and leave the rest i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you for letting me read for you uh, please consider talking, like giving uh, feedbacks. Except for saying that I talk too much because I'm sorry, I can't really help it. Um, please consider commenting, subscribe, and liking the video. Thank you! And also, yeah, maybe share my channel with other people if you feel like it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you.